Get it out of here, sir. You win some, you lose some. Oh, uh, darling, I uh, think you absolutely rock in that outfit, and I knew you would the minute I spotted it at Logan's. Thanks for the assist. Yes, but maybe it just rocks a little bit too much. Um, can we go to the mirror, please? Take a look. I think, you know, can I see what this looks like if you, um, yeah, take the belt off, sweetheart. Okay. Just, yeah, 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 less is more. Come on, take the belt off quickly. Yeah, um, do you mind just the earrings? Bat wings. No, I don't think so. Not with this. And button the button. Okay. Good girl. Now, oh, do you mind? No. Let's. Yeah, the T-shirt is meant to be pulled down. Uh, now, what do you think? Oh, much better. <laughs> yes, <Thank> isn't it? <laughs> um, did you happen to see uh, my guest, Charlie? Uh, no, his door was closed when I went. He's probably still sleeping. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. You look adorable. The poor man, he's been through a very, very stressful time. He's probably exhausted and... Uh, Needs his rest, so I say, why don't we just let him sleep? Adorable. Oh. Oh. Rise and shine. Huh? Time to saddle up, cowboy, and teach me how to ride. Uh. Wow, Star's gonna flip when she sees this. Can I go bring this up to her? Oh, <laughs> no, she woke up at dawn and she's already uh, seen it. Gee, isn't it wonderful that Todd could actually deliver some pretty good news for a change? Why do I get the feeling you still have issues with Mr. Manning? You know what, I have issues with any man who abuses women, especially Kramer women, so why don't you make sure that you're boyfriend Marco knows about that. But Star's crazy about her dad. She 
she needs to think that her father is a good man. How about some orange juice? I'll pour you some. Oh, hold on, on, hold on. One thing I don't get, you hate Mr. Manning, and you could smack him down if you wanted to, but yet you let him live here? What's that all about? Keep your enemies closer. Besides which, as much as I dislike Todd, I love Blair. And Star, and Jack, and for some reason, they seem to need him. You know, sometimes you just have to make sacrifices in order to ensure that your family is happy. Mm, that's deep. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, I'm gonna go find Star. It's our day off. We're gonna. No, 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 honey, honey. She went out on a shopping excursion. She wants to get all these things for some sort of welcome home gala, besides which you do not have time to hang out. You have a group therapy session. Excuse me, group therapy? Yes, I... Oh, good morning. Now, is everything all right in here? Yes, of course it's all right. Why? Because I think there might have been a break-in. Burglars? Do you think they're still in the house? Well, as far as I know, there's still one in my bed. Aren't you gonna call the cops? There was a burglar in your bed? When I woke up, she was... Well, uh, she was straddling me. She? Hmm. Straddling? A burglar? Well, see, I never said it was a burglar, and I don't think that robbery was what she had in mind. Oh. Well, um, what was this, um, burglar wearing? It was one of those kimono things. It was very bright blue, had flowers on it, and... Bed buddy! <clears throat> there you are! And this is that intruder. Is this decaf or is it fully leaded? Watch your sleeves. Why don't you just have orange juice instead? And tell me what you were doing with Charlie. Is, is that your name? I, uh, you left so fast, I didn't get a chance to ask. So you do know this woman? Oh, yes, she is my sister, Addie, and now she's going to explain to me what you were doing in Charlie's bed. Calm down, Dory. I had some wine after my pills last night. What? And I got You're a little turned mix. around. Oh, so it was just an accident that you ended up in my room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but, uh, taking off my robe was on purpose. <laughs> you should have seen the look on his face. <laughs> you were naked. Uh, way too much information. I was in an unfamiliar room with an unfamiliar hunk. I thought it was a dream. I don't know about you, but that's what I do in that kind of dream. Really, I, I do not think this is the kind of conversation we should be having with a young lady in the room. Oh, lighten up, Dory. It's not like somebody died. You know, I think your sister's right. There's no harm, no foul. Still. Uh, can we talk about what you brought up earlier. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, we'll talk about it. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, I'll be right back. Muriel! How do you take your coffee cream? Or maybe you'd like a little sugar. Muriel! It's Ariel, and I'm not going to group therapy. Darling, I can understand your reluctance to go, and I'm very sorry that I didn't give you a heads up, some kind of warning so you could prepare yourself. But I was annoyed because I got this letter yesterday from Child Services what, saying what they letter? wouldn't let you live with me unless you took this, this grief counseling. Oh, Muriel! We can just Ariel. Go ourselves. It's, it's right there. Oh, yes. Well, what it is, is it's, it's the uh, driver to take you to group uh, therapy. So here's the money. And look, 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 I found a pair of earrings. Looks fine with that. Uh, you can have those. And um, 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 when you get back, uh, you'll help me uh, plan Adriana's wedding. The address is uh, in the letter, sweetheart. Have a good session. Now, on my day off from school? Yeah, I'm sorry. So sorry. Bye-bye. Hey. Hi, wh what's up? You want to switch guardians? In a heartbeat. Dory, did you see the news? Todd got his son back. Oh, is that today's paper? 